English muffins. They had these right here at $2 off because the date is the 24th. It's coming up. We'll eat these way before then. So I got two of these. Um, I got this right here, some chicken sausage. First time trying this, so that should be interesting. This I got some love cheese. this cheese. This is new. I've never had this, the smoked salmon dip. So this should be interesting. There's another dip that I usually get by them, but it's too spicy, so I don't buy it anymore. And I got my fave, another box of this. This rice is so good. I got some bacon. I got three packs of my chicken thighs. I got my avocado oil. I found out that they have, this was what, $5 and some change. And what I usually do is, I usually go to um, Home Goods or PJ Maxx or somewhere like that and get my avocado oil because I felt like that was the cheapest place, right? Versus the grocery store. But I didn't know that all these had it. So this is $5.99. So this is where I be getting my avocado oil going forward. And then I just got some oatmeal. So what are y'all doing today? Are y'all ready for the holidays? Are y'all ready for Thanksgiving and all of that? I mean, as for me, I really don't care much about Thanksgiving. I've never been a Thanksgiving fan to begin with. And then now that my mom is gone, my grandma and I'm gone, it's like it just doesn't hit the same. And then once I learned the truth about Thanksgiving for years, I have not wanted wanted to celebrate Thanksgiving. But for those of you that do, I wish you love, peace, and happiness. Cherish the moments you have with your loved ones, okay? Because these are moments that you can never, ever, ever get back. Ever get back. And then also, I want them people, I feel like, whether you're family or not, it has to be organic for me. If I don't talk to you throughout the year, when I'm meeting with you to eat, to eat dinner for, for Thanksgiving. It just don't make sense to me. So, that's just how I feel. I love everybody. Matching pajamas. So, I want to do all of the things with them because I really do miss them. I really, really do. So, um, yeah. So, they thought I was coming for Thanksgiving. So, I wasn't sure if I was going to come for Thanksgiving because I'm like, you know what? Let me figure this whole thing out, right? Because when I go for Christmas, I plan on being there for at least mm, maybe a couple of weeks or so. Um, I feel like that's the most my daughter can take. Me and her, we, we like oil and water sometimes. We be at each other neck. So, I figure I don't want to wear, wear out my welcome with my daughter. You know what I'm saying? You know how it is when you, you have your own space and you use your own space, you know? So, that's the plan. That's the itinerary. Right now, I'm trying to figure out if I should book me a flight or, because I'm not, I'm not a fan of flights. I am going to go take me a shower and finish watching Ugly Betty. It's getting really, really good, you guys. I'm in the third season, so it's getting really, really good. I had stopped watching Ugly Betty, Betty for a couple of days and started watching um, The Wives Club. I think it's called The Wives Club with Jill Scott really good show really good show it's on netflix i don't know what the original channel was or station that it came on before it got to netflix but i've been binge watching that too so i've been going back and forth binge watching back and forth and just handle your business because while i'm thinking it's a no it could be a yes so i just gotta stop overthinking things and just get get on get get the grind and get my grind on you know what i mean like in if in any area of my life i need to get it get it going you know what i'm saying because a lot of times we be so afraid we be second guessing and all of the things so we have to understand that god all he wants us to do is come to him just come to him and have faith and believe in him he gonna make it happen it may not be when we feel like it need to happen but trust and believe he gonna come right on time i'm a, i'm a, listen i am a witness to the goodness of god i am a witness honey god and god that opened up doors for me that sometimes i look back and be like wow okay 
And I'm sure he's opened up doors for you. I'm sure he's made things happen for you. So keep the faith, honey. That's the thing about the devil. He'll sit there and try to make you feel like you're doing the worst in your life. Like you ain't doing nothing. You ain't doing enough. You ain't got nothing. Girl, he'll have you feeling like you're the worst thing ever in life. But don't fall for that. God is a good God and he loves us. He would have never given his son, his only son, so that we'll have life and have it what? Abundantly. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay? So I'm going to leave y'all with that. We're going to be positive. We're going to be uplifting. We will not be um, second-guessing ourselves. And we're going to make this thing happen. And we starting this now. We're not going to wait until the new year, baby. No, 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 no. Every day we wake up is, a, is pretty much a new year. Okay? So I'm going to leave y'all with that because I can talk, baby. I can talk all night long. Okay? So, I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. Y'all make sure y'all enjoy y'all still, whether you with by yourself, whether you got tons of family, whether you have no family. Baby, enjoy yourself. Even if you got to fix you a little food by yourself, or hell, make a pizza and put in you a nice Christmas movie. Something to cheer you up. You understand what I'm saying? Enjoy yourself, girl. Put on some music. Have a nice glass of wine. Life is what you make it. I got up this morning because I had to go run an errand, right? And then I stopped by Dunkin' Donuts and got me a, I think it's called Cookie Crumble or something like that. But they didn't have the the cookie butter, so they put on um, brown sugar, or something like that, child. And then I didn't want my cold; I wanted my hot, so I had to make it hot. I went to the one over here. I didn't go to the usual one that I go to. I always go to another one. I go between the both of them, actually. And, you know, the little the lady who work in there, she's an older lady. You know how it is. Us older women, we tend, our patience is really thin. We get anxiety, over anxious, all of the things, right? So I try to show her some grace, you know, whenever I go in there. This lady is a train wreck and they got her working the cashier now mind you the last time i went in there she had put my my order wrong and then she, she did my order wrong and when i told her she was getting like annoyed, annoyed with me but she was the one that had got my order wrong so i always try i haven't always been this way but i always just try to show people grace especially people that work because i know it's not an easy job right but don't get mad at me if you have my order wrong. Like, make it make sense. And so, fast forward months later, I come back this morning and I asked her, before I even made my order, I said, can I get the cookie butter in hot? Does it come in hot? And she said, yeah, you can get it hot, but we don't have the cookie butter. We have the, the, um, the brown sugar. Okay, that's fine. I love brown sugar, so that works. I prefer the cookie butter because it tastes really good, but I love brown sugar too, so that's fine. It was like a win-win situation. So, she took my order. I gave her a 10. The lady gave me back a dollar and 20 cents when I gave her a 10. So, I told her, I say, um, I gave you a 10. So, she said, oh, 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 I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. So, she ended up giving me back, taking a dollar and giving me my $5. No problem. Cool. When I tell you she ripping and running all over the stove. And then when I'm down there waiting for my coffee. She comes to tell me. Oh you can't get it hot. You got to get it cold. I'm like baby. I got to get it how I want it. Because I'm paying for it. And you told me I could get it hot. Now don't tell me tell what I, I mean, got to do. Is there, if there's anything else I would want to add. You know order. Since they can't make this hot. So the other lady, her other co-worker, hears her tell me that. She goes, no, 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 you can. You can make it hot. Instead of making it cold, just make it hot. Anyway, I brought that to y'all just to say they need to put her up doing something else. I think, and bless her heart, because I feel like she tried really hard, but I just feel like she falls under pressure. You know what I'm saying? Like she gets nervous. She gets anxious. And I understand that. You know what I'm saying? But I always have that same problem. Lay that one all the time. 
but I didn't fuss. Thank God he working for me. He working on me, child. Cause I didn't get annoyed. I didn't get any of the things. I just, you know, I was just as calm as can be. I didn't get annoyed. I just, you know. But she, she to make a long story short, I got my coffee. Um, I got my cookie butter coffee hot, and it tastes really good. I told him no sugar, but it tastes. It tastes like they added sugar, but it could be just the um. It could be just the um. So I'm not really sure. Getting on the turnpike, but baby, that's just how anxious I was. Which way do I go, girl? I'm so confused, girl. Um, Tuesday, they will have a um, some type of Christmas thing in Fort Lauderdale on Los Olos, and y'all know that's my spot. <laughs> if you don't know, that's my spot. And um, great, on some lashes for real. Okay, this is the road I'm supposed to be on right here. Yeah, this is the road I supposed to been on. But yeah, Tuesday, they're gonna have some Christmas thing um in Los Olos. They're gonna have the big tree lighting, they're gonna have a skating ring, you know, the little ice skating thing down there, all of that. So I think that would be something fun to do. So I definitely want to go there. But that means I would have to be ready to go as soon as I get off work because turn this way i think i do i will be i will have to be ready to go as soon as i get out of work because i know that parking and traffic and stuff is gonna be wild so i really want to go i usually don't go nowhere on work days but girl i told myself stop living your life like that if it's something you want to do whether it's on a work day or not do it so that's where we at with that I'm back and I'm just as lost. I was way on the other side of dang on town. I think this is the right way. I think. I think, I think, I think. Is that the street? It has pecans on the top. I think walnuts, not pecans, walnuts. walnuts. So my son's wife, she makes the best freaking rum cake. So she just showed him how to make it. He been taking notes. She told me that he made, he made it on his own. So I'm gonna taste a little bit. I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut it right here so you guys can see. And this is my food. I got some food from them. So I'm gonna cut it so you guys can see. I'm gonna move the camera so you guys can see it. And um, yeah. A little piece. Mmm. It's voice too. It's soft. Rum cake. Tastes a little bit. Mmm. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. I got called to tell him. I did that when I was in the car. But um this is the cake. Mm, it's so good, y'all. Put down the tree. We brought it downstairs. And this thing is heavy. I don't know if this is the viral tree from um Home Depot, the nine foot grand. I don't know, I'm not sure. But I bought this last year 
and I'm in absolute love for, with it. I will never ever buy a tree for the rest of my life. I plan on using this tree forever. <laughs> so we'll be putting her up tomorrow. Um, I do not plan on decorating her. Let me show y'all. I don't plan on decorating her. I'm going to let her stay just like that. Look how pretty that is. The only thing I'm going to do is buy the little round thing that go to the bottom. Hopefully, if it fits. And put some on the top, probably. But I'm not going to put anything um, on the tree. It's beautiful, though. It's huge, too. So, what I did was move my living room furniture over there and then it'll just have this whole corner to itself so i'm excited i can't wait to put her up that'll be on the next vlog that won't be on this one so i thought i think i'm gonna do a reel but i also film a little bit for my next vlog as well so 